But nevertheless, I must say it is an honor and a privilege to be here today on the eve of the 140th birthday of one of the greatest engineers of our country, Sri Mokshagundam Vishweshwaraya Garu. And also I stand here, the proud daughter of a great father who declared September 15th as the Engineer's Day. And I'm also privileged to be on this dais, which my father 25 years ago was here to share one such evening with all of you. I mean, I'm not sure how many of you were there on that occasion, but definitely it is my proud privilege to be here on this occasion. And he was not only an engineer who constructed great projects and dams, but here was a man who completely believed that industrialization would alleviate the poverty in our country and therefore contributed greatly to the industrial development by planning a steel plant, by laying the, by even the railways system of Mysore, and by progressively contributing to the technical education for posterity and also in the establishment of reputed financial institutions, the MICE, institution, the Mysore Bank. Taming of rivers and optional use of water was his forte. And even as a young engineer in the service of Bombay Presidency, he was famous, or rather, if I believe it is true, he laid the siphon pump pipe beneath the bed of the stream, which actually allowed water to flow through the pipe into the irrigation channel on the opposite bank. And he was also instrumental in surveying, planning and executing the water scheme for the town of Dulia, which is presently in Kandesh in the state of Maharashtra. Recognizing his capacities and his capabilities, it was then that he was invited as a consulting engineer to, by the government of the Nizam of Hyderabad to protect the city of Hyderabad from the repeated devastation that it was um, open to due to the floods from the river Musi. The tank bond that we take great pride in today was actually his recommendation as a part of the uh, the plan that was recommended by him to protect the city of Hyderabad by creating water bodies around the city so that the water from the Musi and the streams in the vicinity could actually flow into and could be stored for use and thereby assured, assured the city of Hyderabad of a very uh, smooth supply of water. And today, or rather I must say this year is the 100th year of the Musi flood that we had witnessed in 1908. So again, it is a great privilege for me to be here, standing here before you, sharing the great achievements of one of the greatest men, greatest engineers of our opportunities. So I once again take this occasion and this podium to appeal to each one of you here to ensure that you serve our country. She needs you at this moment when she's breaking the chrysalis, and I'm sure you will all support her. And once again, thanking the Institute of Engineers for having given me this wonderful opportunity to share my thoughts, my concerns, and my respect for a great man. I thank all of you. Thank you.